Hello Libra and welcome to your February 2021. How do they feel about you reading? This is for Libra. Libra, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and now TikTok. And I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. All right, Libra, this is for you. We are going to see how this person is feeling about you and if they will take any action in regards to those feelings for you. This is for Libra. How do they feel about Libra? How do they feel about Libra? Okay, so right off the bat here we get the soulmate card so this person feels this strong spiritual connection with you yes this is your soulmate they are very sure of the connection here but there's obstacles here let go of control issues allow this situation to unfold naturally this person is in the process of trying to get to you libra there's some obstacles that they're dealing with here so let's see what is going on? All right. And this is for Libra. How do they feel about Libra? If this resonates with you, Libra, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Libra, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign as this will not resonate with every Libra out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you. This is for Libra. How do they feel about Libra? How do they feel about Libra? Okay. Okay, this person is getting control of their life. All right, so this person is doing some healing, okay? This is a connection that, and they are, they're kind of quiet right now. Um, this person wants you to kind of go with the flow of the situation. They're trying to elevate themselves. They're trying to get away from negative energies. They don't want to bring any drama to you. They are very protective over you, Libra. Okay. And they don't want to disappoint you. Um, they feel like the two of you would make a beautiful partner, uh, a partnership here. So you could be dealing with a... Virgo or somebody with strong Virgo in their chart, this person isn't saying much, but they feel that connection. They do. It's undeniable. They've realized it, but they they have to get their their life together. Okay? They got big decisions to make. They're trying to clear obstacles. Um, and they want to be um, your divine other half. We got the emperor here. So they want to be in control. They want to be in control of their lives and they want to present themselves that way to you. Okay, so this person's doing some very deep um, healing, some contemplation, a lot of thinking. But at this time, Libra, see, it's like you are their wish fulfillment. You see that star in the lantern. They're holding you at bay until they are 100% ready because they want to come to you in such a way that you will not reject them because they think the absolute world of you. So they just want you to kind of go with the flow. They're not quite there yet. Um, so yeah, they're kind of, you know, holding you at, uh, at a safe distance here because they don't want, they don't want to hurt you right now in their current state and in, in the chaos that surrounds them. If they brought you into it, you would end up getting hurt. So when they are ready, they're going to come forward. They're going to take that leap of faith and they're hoping that you will take that leap of faith as well. All right. Um, so they want this new beginning. They want it to happen. They want this fresh start. They want you to be open 
right. Um, they will be open uh, and ready, um, and they want you to be open and ready as well. Very spiritual connection. One, two, three, four major arcana. So this is going to be a big change. This is a big shift for this person. Um, but they know they know what they have to do to kind of win you over. Um, so it's all kind of behind the scenes here. And they feel, they don't really know how you're going to feel. Um, they see you as a bit of a mystery. They're going by pure intuition here and what their soul is telling them. All right, so you could be dealing with a highly intuitive person. You yourself could be a highly intuitive person as well, but everything is kind of kept behind the scenes. Their plans, they don't know how you feel. You probably don't know how they feel. You probably don't know that they're going through all of this, right? They've got plans here, Libra. We got the Ace of Pentacles here. This is them wanting to come to you with a solid offer that you can't refuse. Right now, they're a mess. Okay, I feel like they're getting over, trying to get over something. Um, so Ace of Pentacles, they want to come to you like, you know, make you an offer that they can't refuse. They want to come to you the right way, something grounded, something tangible, something real. They want the start of something that's going to last forever. This person's used to dealing with a lot of chaos in their life. This person um, is coming into the understanding that you're the one, number one. You're their soulmate, and they want to protect that, right? They want to protect that higher love. They want to protect you. All right, Libra, I am going to read the energies of the cards. If the sign of the person that you're dealing with have dealt with, or will be dealing with in the future. If the sign of that person comes up, all the better. Keep in mind, time is fluid. Cross watchers, keep in mind that some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. It is a general reading, so you assign the roles as you wish. This person um, may have been in, I'm gonna read these two cards together, okay? may have been in very inconsistent relationships, Libra. They themselves may have brought um, inconsistency to their past relationships, okay? Um, you may have called them, you know, like, this is the juggler, this is the player. You know, they were just playing around with, with some of the relationships that they've been in. Uh, but then here you are, and you kind of... Um, took them by surprise the connection was so very strong with you and they want to elevate themselves they don't they want to settle down they want something real which is where this comes in all right let me just show you this remember when i said they think the world of you they're right there they see you as somebody that's got it going on right you are you are worthy Libra of this type of offer because this is what they see that you deserve. You deserve so much better than what they can give you at this point. So they want to give you this because they feel like you deserve that, right? You've, you've got it going on and they, they want to have it going on too. All right. So you won't reject them, but, um, they know that they have to heal some things they've got to make big decisions and they have to elevate themselves and that's exactly what they're going to do here now you could be dealing with an aries or somebody with strong aries in their chart so this person wants to be loyal to you they want to be your divine other half they're extraordinarily protective over you libra okay um they don't want to disappoint you. They don't want to disappoint you. This is why they're elevating themselves and um, coming up with these offers here. And it's all kind of behind the scenes that this person is doing this. Um, so, yeah, they don't want to hurt you. They don't ever want to hurt you. And they don't want to bring your energy down with that Five of Cups. But they don't want to be a disappointment to you, and they don't want you to reject them. Um, so three of pentacles here. 
they they put you up on a little bit of a pedestal here but what they want is a true um, partnership here with you okay now you could have met this person like through work or something like that you could have went into where they work or vice versa um, but I just feel like they think the world of you and they want to be kind of on your level okay all right any more information any more information in regards to how this person is feeling about Libra or what actions they will take towards Libra So it's, it's like you're bringing out the best in this person. That's what I want to say. You'll be dealing with a Sagittarius or somebody with strong Sagittarius in their chart. Um, a lot of healing in regards to this person. Finding balance. They feel like you will be very healing for them and they will be very healing for you. And I've, I feel that too. Um, patience. Patience, right? They want you just to give them a little little bit of time here like I said this person it's chaos around them there's a lot of drama around them and they don't want to bring you into that they don't want to bring you into that five of uh, wands that is fire energy and then we have the six of um, swords right so they're moving past this drama they're finding peace within themselves right and they're they're grounding their energy right now and doing a lot of inner work right now this person with definitely with these two cards right here could live at a distance from you maybe they're going to travel to see you um or vice versa maybe you're going to end up traveling to see them okay that's for some of you not all of you but they want you to um, make a decision right with this judgment card based on the person that they are becoming not the person that they were because this person's got a history this person has a history Libra and they've you know they've got some secrets here you know but I feel like they don't want um, you to judge them by their past because they're trying to elevate and you are bringing out the the best in this person um, this person's been through a lot um, there's been a lot of sadness in their life and they're letting go of a lot of negative energies and a lot of negative people that bring that chaos and that drama to their life and they certainly don't want you to experience that that side they don't want you involved in it so they're they're releasing and they're healing and they're getting on top of their game for you and for themselves but for you um they're this connection that they felt for you libra they've never been able to let go of that of that thought of you of that connection it really um, did something to them it changed them and I feel like it changed you as well so they're gonna fight for this they're standing their ground yeah that you haven't heard from this person I don't think um, too much and they're at the point where they don't care what anybody says they're going after the things that they want but first they have to start with themselves it's like they got to elevate themselves they gotta love themselves first because they know that they're going into something real here with you to them you know they may have played games before in regards to past relationships they do not want to play games with you they want to be that emperor type energy that divine type energy that spiritual connection they want to share that with you and they they want something real and grounded and settled and they want to give you the person uh, present you with the person that they truly are that they truly are and somebody that they feel you deserve because you're worthy of the absolute best and they're trying to become the absolute best 
for you, Libra. So um, that's kind of beautiful. Um, so I hope this resonates with you, Libra. Like I said, very protective over you. They're not going to come forward until everything is absolutely the way that it needs to be. And they, they can give you everything that you want. All right. So I hope that resonates with you. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and now TikTok. And I'll leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. Please do follow the links that I provide because there are some imposters out there. Um, so make sure you follow the links. Um, and there's um, some scammers out there. I've been noticing them, them in the comments. They pretend like they're me. They steal the profile picture and they're like, give you a WhatsApp number and a fake email. And just know I don't do private readings and I don't do WhatsApp. Okay, so that is not me. So you guys be very mindful of that. I don't want you out there getting scammed, okay? Um, what else, Libra? Next week, I'll be working on the mid-month reading, so check those out. And for those of you that are new to the channel, I um, have a weekly schedule, and I have a live schedule. Um, so you know when your weekly reading will be released, and the live schedule, I usually go live every day around noon, um, in the hour of noon Eastern Standard Time. All of that information can be found down below in the description box or in the about section of my channel. You guys take very good care of yourself. I hope you have a great week and um, yeah, I hope you're staying happy and healthy out there and I will talk to you all very, very soon. Take care and God bless.